One of the best ways to improve your health is with regular exercise. By working out just three days a week, 30 minutes at a time, you'll have noticeable health benefits. But of course, you can always work out more than that at the ASC gym. And in one person's case, she worked out for 624 hours and is the winner of our Health and Fitness Award. Let's meet her. I'm here with Nancy Saldivar, our travel coordinator, and this year's all-time winner of the Health and Fitness Award with 624 hours. Nancy, you gotta tell me, what's your secret? Bottom line is just determination. It's just wanting to go to the gym and enjoy yourself while you're at the gym. I try to change it up a little bit, start with cardio, um, change it up every other day, first uh, work the legs, then work the arms, uh, definitely work the core, and um, look at YouTube videos. See what's out there. Uh, change it up every once in a while so you're never bored with your routine and you're always enjoying yourself as you go into the gym. Hi guys, I'm Matt and I do the sling inspections here at ASC. So I'm going to walk you through a couple things to look for in a damaged sling. So the first thing I look for in a damaged sling would be a weld spatter on it, which could damage the sling. So if you are welding or grinding near a sling, you want to make sure to put a welding blanket over it. The second thing I look for would be webbing damage in the sling. So you want to avoid trying to crush the sling between anything or rubbing it against uh, sharp objects since that can uh, cause cuts in the sling which ruins the load capacity. So other things to look for would be knots in the sling. This can ruin the load capacity of the sling because once the fibers get crushed, it loses its integrity. Other things to look for would be cuts or abrasions in the sling, which uh, occur on the sides and on the eye of the sling. So if you see any of these signs within a sling, if you're in the shop, you want to pull it from production and let a safety representative know. If you're in the field, though, you want to pull it from production and make sure you label it as damaged so that no one can use it. So uh, thank you very much, and uh, have a good one. <laughs> Hoses are a common tool in production but they make for an easy tripping hazard if they're not properly put away. We use hoses often for draining water tanks and autoclaves, and especially run outside, that hose is easy to trip over. Make sure to coil it up and put it away properly, or if you have a reel, reel it up and store it away. I'll do it right now. Woo! I don't know about you, but listening to Nancy got me motivated. I'm gonna be here burning some calories. You guys stay safe. Don't forget to sign up for our walk run to cure cancer on March the 17th, and I'll see you next time.